are back at the lab. It's Trojans Live with Jordan Moore and John Jackson. Get ready for your next big game. Let Ralph's help make game time a little easier. Place your order today for ready-made party platters at your neighborhood Ralph's Deli or ralphs.com slash order online. And we are joined by J-Mac, Jordan McLaughlin, and this guy's got an even better nickname, Benny Buckets. Benny <laughs> Boatwright, a freshman, one of the two talented freshmen that have come in and uh, joined this program, Benny and, and Chemezi Matu. Let's start with you, though, J-Mac. You, you were the stud freshman we were all excited about last year. Then shoulder slowed you down a little bit. How you feeling? I'm um, feeling really good. You know, I had the, uh, two surgeries done uh, following the season, and uh, they've been feeling really good lately. Benny, of course, you're new to USC. First of all, how you liking it? And, 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 and second of all, what's been the biggest adjustment that you had to make so far? Oh, you got to love the family atmosphere at SC. Um, the biggest adjustment is just being tired all the time, <laughs> <laughs> to be honest. You yeah. tired from hoops, studying, or <laughs> just enjoying college life? I'm just enjoying college life. <laughs> yeah, I go. love it, though. I love it. You know, you, you are six foot ten, two twenty, 220, but they call you Benny Buckets because you can shoot it from the outside. Tell, tell the USC fans what they can expect. They come to Galen Center and watch you play. Um, I just like to play with my teammates, especially playing with my new teammate, J-Mac. I'm going to have lots of fun playing with him and hopefully bring um, some new excitement to the team. You know, J-Mac, last year was, of course, your first year. And what, what's the biggest adjustment? What advice would you give Benny in terms of making the transition from high school to college? Oh, man, he asked me that question the other day. <laughs> and I was just telling him uh, just the, uh, the pace of the game. You know, uh, in high school, you're able to do whatever you want, being the uh, main guy on the team and being able to score at will. Uh, but just like, like I was telling them, gaps close so quick compared to um, high school to college. Everybody's um, – all the players are longer and stronger, so it's a little bit tougher. But I was just giving them pointers on how to escape that type of stuff. Benny, you were here for a minute. They already took you to Italy, man. That's a good deal. How, how, how was that trip? <laughs> the team went to Italy uh, you know, this summer, got to play some games. You, you didn't take it easy on those Italian boys. <laughs> no, no, no. It was a blessing. Um, I'm very um, grateful that I got a chance to go with these guys to Italy. And we, we got um, – closer to the team so it was just a great experience what was your favorite part of the trip oh um uh, the the best city was probably rome we had we had the most fun there all right benny so jordan already mentioned your uh the, the talent you have from shooting from the outside so the story goes it says that w your dad would you get you up 6 a.m to shoot 500 to a thousand shots in the morning. How true is that story? Oh, that's 100% true. It's 100% true. <laughs> <laughs> to no, 100. a thousand shots in the morning? 100% true, wow. yeah. Wow. <laughs> what, and, and, and what, what kind of role did your dad play in your life as far um, as that goes? Um, I wouldn't be here today without my dad. I'm so grateful for my dad. Um, we used to get up, even without a ball, we used to be in the living room just like <laughs> form, just doing the form of the um, jump shot. So. I'm very grateful. But how important is it now, that, that stretch four position in what Andy Enfield's trying to do, and, and then it seems like, tell us about the new guy that's coming in with you, Chemezi Matu. It almost seems like you're a perfect complement. He's the rim protector we need, and, and, and you're that stretch four. Right, yeah. Chemezi Matu, he's a freak athlete. <laughs> so you guys better be ready for something special when he gets on the court. But um, I had lots of fun playing with him in the Drew League. And, um, yeah, we, go, we really complement each other. So. And Jordan, of course, you've been around, so you know that the, you know, obviously the off season. Now you're completely, you know, basketball engulfs your life. What's the biggest uh, area of improvement you're trying to get better from what we saw last year to this year? Yeah, um, while I was out, all I was doing is really watching film. You know, whenever we right before like an hour or thirty minutes before practice, I'm watching film with the coaches, trying to. Uh, see what I can work on in my game. And then when we were playing other opponents, I was watching their point guards, seeing how, how many times they get to the paint, how many times they make the right pass. And just um, just while I was sitting out, I was just learning how to slow the game down and play at my own pace. Jordan, this seems like such a big off season for this team. I mean, the coaches talked about, hey, they want everyone to get stronger. You, you, you return the entire team, plus you had two you know, blue chip freshmen that, that, that Phil needs. What are you seeing as you guys are doing your, your workouts? You, you, you're allowed some limited practice time. What you saw in Italy, you know, what are you seeing from this team? Every, everybody's locked in. Everybody's ready to go. And um, just uh, like you said, is, uh, coaches are expecting a big year. We're expecting a big year. We have uh, we've been lifting uh, crazy, so we we're all get, we're all gotten a little bit bigger. And um, like like yeah, you I said, saw Nicholas' photo the other day. <laughs> He's taking some yeah, you know, Jack Nick, selfies. Yeah, Nick doesn't <laughs> doesn't play in the weight room. Nick, <laughs> Caden, all of us, we we all go hard in the weight room. Like even on voluntary days, every, almost everybody checks in on that day, and everybody just wants to get better. Hey, Benny, how about for you? Where are you is, it, is it that the biggest adjustment or the biggest change in terms of trying to improve your game before the season starts is the weight room? Oh, yes, most it? definitely, most definitely. How's that going for you? I'm, I'm going good um, working with Coach Kurt. He's um, really pushing me each and every day. Guys, older guys pushing me each and every day. So 
You already be called you already an older guy. See that? Yeah. One year, <laughs> one year on long? campus. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Man. Either you guys drive Ferraris when you were in Italy? I saw some cool videos. You get with the Ferrari? Factory? Oh, yeah. Some of the guys did. I didn't oh, drive man. it, but I was in the back seat. Oh, I looked pretty <laughs> amazing experience. That, that looked though. like a good time. I thought that was what you were going to say when you said your favorite thing that happened in Italy. That, that would have been mine right there. Yeah. You get to meet these guys. Meet the team. Trojan tip-off is Sunday, October 11. Fan Fest at noon. Scrimmages at 1 at the Galen Center. Hey, it's free. Free admission. So a great chance to meet... Uh, the men's basketball team as well as the women of Troy, Sunday, October 11. When we come back, J.J.'s going to break down everything that happened at the Coliseum on Saturday. Let's get ready for the scouting report on Trojans Live.